This is what the Los Angeles Chargers need to do in the 2024 NFL Draft. Ryan Wilson and Emory Hunt from the With the First Pick podcast here to give you an ultimate mock draft for the team that picks fifth overall. All right, let's jump into the NFL Mock Draft Database Simulator. Here we go. Picking five. We ain't trading down in this one. So, Drake May, Jaden Daniels. Maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe we should trade down, Emory. Drake May, Jaden Daniels, Dallas Turner, Joe Alt, Brock Ooh. Bowers, J.J. McCarthy. The Brock Bowers would be a total Harbaugh shocker, right? Because think about what he's done. Built a point of attack play up. He, he's all about those tight ends. Yeah, they bring in Will Disley. They bring in Hayden Hurst. But you got a chance to get Brock Bowers. Who's the receiver on the board? First yeah, let's one. see the way. If Malik Neighbors is there, it's, it's a done done. Man, Malik Neighbors is already gone. Uh, Roma Dunze is already gone. Yeah. And, man, these dudes are the top. Somebody's you know what? Let's, let's, let's do it, man. Let's let's live on the wild side. Let's, yeah, let's go get I'm Brock Bowers. That. If Malik had been there or Rome had been there, I might have pushed back. But Brock Bowers, that's a no-brainer. All right, pick 37. So we get that tight end. And he can – look, he's gotten a lot better as a blocker in the 2023 season, and we know they're going to be running the ball a ton. So um, I get that. Now they have Gus Edwards, Isaiah Spiller, Elijah Dotson on the roster. Just for fun, man, I would get I would get Lad McConkey here. I'm not – before we get going. You want to do Lad? Yeah, let, 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 for, let's let's see what let's see what the running back. Even uh, I, like I was going to I was going to go like running, the running back. backs that they have. Okay, so they're now nah, we're good on running backs because I feel like Spiller gets a, a, a is is going to get an opportunity here. So let's he was go getting back. first round buzz, ended up going in the fourth round. Like he had he had some juice coming out, and he was good, right? He was yeah. good behind that big offensive line. You know, the, the, man, listen, McConkey, let's <laughs> let's you got Darius Davis. We had a case of the drops. You know what I'm saying? McConkey to me can play inside or outside. Yes, sir. Let's go McConkey. Let's let's rebuild the Georgia Bulldogs. And this is great news for Josh Palmer and Quentin Johnson. If you can get his head on right, then then now you're working with some things. Now I, I do want to see what the we got a ton of needs on this team, but I, I'm just curious about the running backs. Is if there's a there's a Trey Benson here or a Jonathan Brooks, who's your running back one? I know you got crazy go, going on. Marshawn there. Lloyd. We ain't oh, I'm sorry. RB one is Braylon Allen. So he's right okay. there. Brill and Allen. He's a pace setter. But here's the thing. He's too they smart. have they have the pace setters already and Gus Edwards and Spiller. So I would look at D line, interior D line. Okay. Cause they only got Puna Ford. They have Oh, boat. look at that. I, listen, Mason Smith is good, but how about Dwayne Carter? I love they, man. I don't know why Dwayne Carter's low on this board. I have him as a day two guy all day long. Yeah. So I, I would I would go Dwayne Carter because he gives okay. them good presence. I like Dwayne Carter. Let's all let's right. help him out up front. We're on the same page on this one. We ain't getting fired this year. <laughs> <laughs> Dwayne Carter, it is. All right, pick 105 is up next. All right, this is something, man. If they come out of here with Brock Bowers, Lab McConkey, and Dwayne Carter, they're going to put Jim Harbaugh in the Hall of Fame before he coaches his first game in L.A. <laughs> All right, pick 105. Should we, now, should we do it just because it's Jim Harbaugh? Man, we, right we might do it because he's good. Let's do Blake Cole. Yeah. <laughs> Let's Dude, go he's, got, he's got – oh, wait, Jalen Wright's there. Oh, Burton's there too, but you know what? Let's go. Let's go. Uh, let's go, Coral. Okay. Wait, time out. Wait, wait. wait. Time out. <laughs> let's look at the tackles. Let's bring get the guard back, Harry. All right, let's look at the tackles real quick because they need a right tackle. Now, if there's a right, right tackle there that I love. Christian Jones, I love. He you starts love day Jones. one at right tackle, and I like him too. I, I like him. I like him a lot. You want? You want? You know? Yeah. Now you have your right tackle settled. You got your two first round picks on the left side. Uh, Corey Lindsley's still there, but they signed Bradley Bozeman. I don't know what Corey's future is. I think he he might be done. Is that right? And listen, I'm a big fan of Jordan McFadden too. He was my number one center in the class, uh, a number one guard in the class last yeah. year. So and they got I, Jamari Stallion, cool right guard too. Yeah, Christian right. Jones, boom, done. And then we'll we got five picks later. We'll we'll get yeah. running back. We, we're gonna get somebody. So he see may who's even running back when you reject all these trades, Harry. So Jalen Wright's still there, done, right? Uh, yeah, because he's he gives you that explosive that game breaker. Now, Audrey Gassime took that four seven one and apparently ran four five eight at his at his uh, pro day, but I that's okay. And we know who he is, and I know who Jalen Wright is. Right, Jalen Wright's, Wright's hitting home speedy. runs. Yes, sir. Yeah. All right, boom gives you what you don't ah, have already. Great draft, dude. Great draft. It. Man. All right, pick one forty is next. All right, let's see if we can get a little bit more. I love the fact that they got Tui Palatu last year. So that's, that's huge. Let's go back Wait to the we, we were We had all worried about the secondary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they, they do need some, they do need a corner. Let's go corner. 
so they got Asante Samuel Jr. We're, we're fine with him. They signed Christian Fulton. He didn't work out in Tennessee. And they got I like Dean Jr. Leonard, but he's a special teamer. But he's got long length and athleticism. Um, I'm a big – where are you on – I like Newton a lot. I like Newton actually more than Jones, but I like Jones a lot too. Uh, no, I like Josh Newton. Okay. Now, do I like him this side? Let me see where I got him, just so just so we're on the same page, because I'm not trying to overdraft anybody, just to just to make the GM happy. I'm going to be honest with the GM. So I got him as a fifth round pick. All right. So we write right early fifth, late fourth, and this is pick 140. Now Jones is, gives us Jones gives us length. I like Elijah Jones too. Like I, I'm a similar on those guys. I like Jalen Simpson for that matter. Um, right. So yeah, I'll let you decide which one you want, but I'm okay with any of these guys in this range. Let's let's go let's go let's get length let's get lengthier. Okay. Even though Wilcox is long, but let's go Jones. All right. Good player at BC had a really good Senior Bowl. Next up, pick one eighty one. Oh wow, we get the we get the best of both for us. You, you want to double up? We uh, they uh, they someone was late turning oh, okay. in the turning in the the names. I did, I've fallen for that poor. All right. So huh. I mean, if you want to see if Ro Torrance is still there, that's who you're eyeballing, or are you eyeballing somebody else? I was I thought I thought uh I like McG- McLaughlin too. Um, oh, I love I love Dwight. Let's get Dwight. And and Dow's good too. Dow I like really Dwight better. I think Dwight, I think he plays like a day two guy. I haven't heard anyone say that yet. So mm-hmm. I haven't been saying it out loud very often, but I, I love his game in Arkansas. They need depth too. So let's do that. Yeah, they need starters and they need people behind the starters. <laughs> right. They get, All right, there they we get go. Gained up a lot in the back end. There we go. All right, two more picks to go. Two twenty five is next. And then we can uh, go best player. We can hit the edge, whatever you want to do, Emory. Let's go quarterback. QB? Let's see, we'll see what's on the quarterback. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Uh, scroll down. We need somebody different. Are you looking for uh, Joe Milton? Nah, somebody that got some Jets. All right, All right I'll, let, so I'll let you go deep in this because I know you got some. Yeah, we, we passed it. Let's, let's move on from quarterback. Let's go to, um, let's go to wide receiver again. Oh wait, go go back. I'm tripping. Uh-oh, go to, go to safety. This dude is awesome. The the Jim Thorpe Award winner who from Air it? Force, Trey Taylor, man. Like, let's do it. Okay. I haven't Big seen him yet, man. but I'll I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. We're looking for athletes. Is he athlete? Athletes. He won the Jim Thorpe Award this year. And uh, you know, super smart player, had a really good shrine game. Really good week there as well. I'm a big fan of what he brings to the table, and, and we get him drafted so that way he can, you know, be on the team as opposed to dealing with the whole situation that tends to happen with these uh, military prospects. So let's keep him active and keep him in the league. Let's go. All right. All right. We got one pick left. Got us a athlete in the back end. Let's play special teams to start. Pick 253. So uh, Khan, I like as a center. Uh, Dial is still there. Cody Schrader. Did we get a run? Yeah, we got Jalen Wright already. Um, Frank Gore is still there. Chase McClellan. A lot of running backs here. Mm-hmm. Javon, like uh, Jean Baptiste, is is it looks the part getting off the bus. I wanted to see more from him, but I don't hate him here. If you're looking for some edge rush depth, what do you like? I like. Listen, Hunter is is a, a fantastic player. I oh um, he's oh yeah, yeah he can play. He, he is a matchup nightmare. So let's go Hunter. Yeah. So John Trey Hunter. Where did he go to school? Georgia, Georgia State. State. And let me check my notes real quick because I watched him and I was I was blown away. Because sometimes you see guys and you're like, okay, I don't get it. I saw him. I had him. Like, if he goes early day three, I will not be surprised. Almost 6'2", 236. Uh, I don't know what his 40 time is, but he had a 32-inch vertical. And he plays, as Rick likes to say, with his hair on fire. And the crazy part is he was, um, you know, he was safety before, play linebacker. Uh, and and they moved on linebacker. And what's funny because at the Senior Bowl, you know, while they're doing one on ones, you you notice that I was like, man, who's this safety from Georgia State? But it was him. You know, there was no safety from Georgia State. It was it was the linebacker. So he can match up with tight ends. He could blitz. He has great ball skills. Um, and he's also very good in run support. So that gives you depth behind. And a, a, you know, I'm a big Deion Henley fan. He was my number one inside linebacker last year. Yeah, I like the fact that we can get Hunter here this late in the draft. And by the way, my comp for him, as I look at it here, uh, Jabril Cox, the little souped-up version of Jabril Cox, who transferred from North one. Dakota State to LSU. Is that right, North Dakota yep. State? Playing and, with the Cowboys, right? Yep, that's right. And I, I had bigger expectations for him coming out. I think John Trey Hunter could be that dude that we thought Jabril Cox might be coming out. All right, let's recap this thing, Harry. 
Brock Bowers at five. And then, I mean, we were worried about wide receiver because Roma Dunze and Malik Neighbors and Marvin Harrison Jr. were gone. We just get Lab McConkey at 37. He might end up being more productive than all three of those guys in year one. Dwayne Carter to solidify the middle of that defense in the third round. Christian Jones, your starting right tackle potentially from day one in the fourth round. Jalen Wright, a burner in the backfield. Now that you moved on from Austin Eckler, then you get depth at cornerback. You add your special teams ace and safety and Trey Taylor, and then you get John Trey Hunter uh, to pair with Dayon Henley at the off-ball linebacker position. This is an A-plus draft, if I'm, if I'm giving myself a pat on the back here. You did pretty yeah, good, Emory. I, I think it's pretty doggone good, man. Listen, people may not be familiar with Trey Taylor, but Trey Ta you don't win a Jim Thorpe Award and not be a good player. Um, I think just because he went to Air Force, people are just not talking about him. But, I mean, the fact that he went out to the Shrine game, held his own, he was good in every game they played. Uh, so I'm a big fan of them. Amen. I love it. All right. That's a wrap on the perfect Chargers draft class. Make sure to subscribe to NFL on CBS on YouTube and download the With the First Pick podcast wherever you get your podcasts. And stay tuned for more Ultimate Mock Drafts because we're hitting all 32 teams.